Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share with you guys real quickly um, entry number 26 into my 100 plus subby giveaway challenge. This one comes from Wendy, who is Reused Muse on YouTube, and I will have her information linked down below. And I'm going to be moving my camera because the way she sent it to me in order for her to protect her goodies inside here she sent it to me like in a folder and so I have it setting up the folder and I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of it and the first thing I see is this little envelope and it says love letters and it says open me and it's got that mouth right there and I watch her um, channel quite a bit because the way that she crafts is so amazing to me that I'm just I find myself going back and watching her um, crafting which is more like artwork to me um, and I wish that I could craft like that but I don't um, so to me it's something that um, I like to see because it's unlike what I'm able to do so um, I'm just gonna read this little note here and I'm not gonna show you the note but look at that bicycle y'all I'm a long time crafter too but I'm new I'm fairly new to YouTube as well oh yes yes ma'am I will be joining your challenge I am, however, a little scared to join your challenge, um, but I'm going to give it a go and see what I can come up with, um, and she is also having a challenge over on her channel that she just started. I mean, look at that, y'all. And I will try to remember when I post this video to use the link to her challenge video in the description box so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested in participating in that challenge if you don't do challenges or you don't like that kind of stuff go over and check her channel out because as you can see this is the type of um, crafting that she does and again like I've said before it's more like pieces of art to me than like crafting and I know that crafting is works of art but there's just something so um, vintage about the way that she crafts that um, it just makes me feel like I'm looking at artwork all the time. I mean, come on, guys. This is her card, and it is just a stunning card. And um, I'm going to open it <laughs> just because I can. She is unlike any crafter um, that I have seen so far on YouTube, and I just love the way she pieces things together. She really uses pieces of different vintage things and just puts them together. She does some collage work and things like that as well. And she's just left the inside blank for me and just added this little heart down here. So cool. I mean, what she does is just cool, man. And that is stitched. Um, and this isn't faux stitch, y'all. This is real stitching along this card. And she's got this, um, almost, is that stitched in the background? No. It's almost, that's like a netting. This, um, black here is like a netting. And she's used, you know, different prints. This is um, a print of, you know, a, a man and a lady looks like on their wedding day. She's a, added this um, little bird down here with the little bling piece. This little always and forever cut out. Um, I just love it. I just love what she does. And in this pocket here is obviously the pocket letter. Even her um, tissue paper is like vintage looking. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's got Paris on it, but it still looks to me like it's vintage. And of course, she's attached this um, felt heart to the front of it. 
which I'm sure that she doesn't have it so glued down that I can't reuse it. I like to know where she finds all of these awesome little used, whoa. Well, I'm going to show you these because they fell out of the pocket. They are little um, binder clips, and this one says best on it, and this one's just a plain, oh, you guys probably can't see it. I barely can see it. Anyway, there's a little silver heart on that on both sides, a little gray one. Um, but I barely can see it, so I'm, I know the camera's not going to pick it up. They fell out of somewhere. Okay. So here in this first pocket, I like how she's used um, like Project Life cards here. And it looks like she may have distressed a little bit on some of these, um, which is super cool. I mean, she just does, like, the coolest stuff with paper. Like, I, I have no words, really. I mean, do you see this? Like, I mean, I just, I have no words for the beauty in what she does. Like, she can just piece things together, and it just looks so stunning. You make me happy when skies are gray. I love the polka dots across there. And then here, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that is just, like, the coolest stuff ever. And I love this stamp, or the stamp cutout right there, the trim across the bottom. I love things that are made out of music paper, so that, to me, is really cool. And she probably has cut that heart out, and she has put the black in there. It looks like it's hand-drawn. It may not be, but it looks like something she would do. And then she's kind of outlined the smile. He smiled back. She's layered the ticket. She's put this picture um, of this little lady in the background. Like, this paper. I'm not sure if this is paper that she has painted I'm sure it is if I know her I'm sure she's painted that mixed media that um, she does really awesome things I like how she's layered this is probably like a piece out of a book or a magazine that she's kind of just tore up to make it fit over the top of that ticket now I could be completely wrong about this Wendy um, about you tearing this page out of like a magazine or whatever but I've seen some of the stuff you do you really like to use recycled materials so I can see that you know that's something that you would do if you didn't do it here I know it's something that you would do um, and then this thing right here is just super cool all shiny with the big old gem in the middle of it I like it she's traced around it to what, give it a little bit more dimension and here is a Project Life card, or an ephemera piece, and I love it. I love that kind of um, prints. And then here is this house, which she has made herself, um, and she's just attached it to this card right here. Again, that's something that she would do, so I know she's handmade that. And then you are simply wonderful. And she's put some bling down here. And I love that kind of vintage feeling paper. Love it. And then in the background here, in the background, she's added some of this um, ribbon right here. She's added some washi tape samples. Um, she has used a playing card to attach them washi tape samples. Very clever. Would never thought of it. Um, and then here she's got some different tags. Pull them out here. That one's super cute. I like how I like how the hearts. Most of the time when you look at stuff, the hearts and things are going to be on this side of the paper. So I like how it's on this side, and I like that itty bitty ticket it's got down there on that one. And here's just some different um, tags. And they're pink, which I love pink. Here's another one. Here's one that's got a cupcake on it. Super cute. And that's a stamped image, it looks like, so I can color it. 
and then there is another tag right there in this pocket she has put some post-its and some page flags I'm like so behind guys look at that cute cutie McCute little um, ladybug there it says take note and this one says love here I'm like behind I haven't even started on my February um, planner situation mostly because I just been filming video uh, these entry videos I mean today is Monday the 6th and I got 10 entries in the mail today so it's gonna take me a couple days probably to get them all uploaded but I will and here are some more stamped images and I love um, locks especially locks that have like a skeleton key um, opening to them reminds me of my grandmother and then ooh, and here's a bunch of goodies we have some punched out little flower pieces some I don't want to lose any of these so I'm gonna try not to pull them out some paper flowers some gems just a whole bunch of really awesome goodies in there stuff that you don't think somebody would be interested in having but I will because I can't find this stuff so I love um, getting little bits and pieces or bits and bobs as some people would call it because I live in a very rural place in Missouri and I can't find a ton. You are my sunshine. I love that card. Um, all you need is love. And then here is a little, that's super cute with the little cupcake on it and the little paper flowers with the little are those seed beads you put in there? If so, did you do that individually? Because that must have taken some time. Anyway, super cute. Really love it. I'm so excited about everybody taking all the, all the time to do all these things for me. I'm just beyond blessed. And then here we have this little hanger that says, Hello, darling. And I've seen people haul these, and I just have never found them. So I'm super excited to have one. I think it's so cute. And then here are some stickers here. You're sweet. <laughs> I like that hedgehog. That's funny. And then there are some more little pieces in here. See if I can get them out without knocking the stuff over here. ampersands I love ampersands I know that's weird but one of these days I'm gonna show you I'm in my bedroom and above my bed I have me and my husband's not above my bed but like off to the left hand side of my bed I have me and my husband's initials on the wall and it has an ampersand a big ampersand in there I love it here are just some cut aparts. This is actually a sticker. Super cute. Just some different ones here. Happy thoughts. I need that sometimes at work. And here is a mason jar that she has clearly um, painted herself, which I love this mason jar. I probably won't share that with anybody. I think I'll keep that for myself. Because I love it. I love her, all of her little artwork. Here's another one that she's mixed media. Looks like. Has my heart. I love it. And then this little um, banner tag right there. And then. In the last pocket here. We've got. Um, little uh, letter stickers. And on the other side of this folder. Which you can't see right at the moment is she's got my name spelt out with those same letter stickers there okay so on the other side I'll move this over a little bit so we can see it we have this gem of a flip book 
I'm going to move this out of the way now. Give me just a second. I don't want to lose anything. So here is her flip book. And just as stunning as I could imagine that it would be. Um, she has... Girl, did you hand stitch these buttons in here? Or do they just look hand stitched? Either way, I'm loving these buttons down here at the bottom. Um, super cool. I love it when people use buttons. The older the button, the better, I think. And then here she has... Um, I mean, do you guys do you guys see how like she turns things into um, something? Like she's seen this somewhere. She's cut it out. She's turned it into the front cover of this flip book. Like her, like she really is to me um, an artist. Like you know, she's an artist. I love the who has my heart for eternity. I love it, and I love this moth right here. Super cool. Super, super cool. And then, whoa, I'm losing my, losing my camera here. Hold on, y'all. See if I can keep it from dropping. Um, and then here we just have, she has collaged this heart together, it looks like. And she put a gold heart down there. And then inside this envelope she's got is some goodies. This is just a little tag, polka dots, and some more of these alphabet stickers. Super cute. I love the, the font on those. And then I love this um, puffy heart. I also love this heart with the stitching down the middle of it. I don't know if you stitched that or if you just attached it. This thing here can be three-dimensional. Look at that. I'm just going to fluff this up real quick. See how that is? Super cute. And I love this um, heel. I think this is absolutely darling. And I actually think I seen her video where she was project sharing this flip book. And I didn't know it was coming to me. But I'm super excited that it did. I'm trying to be careful and not rip these envelopes because I want to put everything back the way that I got it. Okay. She shared some of these very pretty pink um, flatback pearls. Um, super cute. And then inside there's also these flatback gems. And she knows that I like pink. And she probably doesn't craft a lot with pink. So it probably took her a little bit out of her comfort zone to craft with pink. But I'm so excited she gave it a try. Because I really, really love what she did. This little owl is super cute. Here's another one of these little hangers. Woo. And then here's a little card that she made. And again, she's just kind of fit pieces together. And it says you. She's distressed the outside of it. Super cool. I mean, she does like amazing things. I know I keep saying that. And I can't remember how this guy flipped open. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. And here is another little pocket. And I love this tag. Do you see how... Like, she does this collage work, and I am going to enter her challenge, and I'm going to do my best to do my take on some of this collaging that she does. I've never tried it, so I'm going to see what I can come up with. Um, I'm, I'm sure I won't be as near as awesome as this, but I like doing things that take me a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So I'm okay with that. And I love how she's got the skeleton keys coming up over here. And again, she has um, made this pocket here. And she has, um, you know, painted different spots in the background there. And then um, either stenciled this or stamped this. I'm not really sure which one. But it's something that I would never think to do. And I love this binding with these numbers coming down the front. I also love these arrows. I'm a big fan of arrows. And here is another little pocket with some more little treats in it. 
She might have she might have hand drawn these for all I know. She's very crafty. She's very artistic. I mean, I I wouldn't even say. I mean, she's crafty, but I would say her stuff is more like artwork than crafty. All these little tags, these little with the metal trimmings on the outside. I love those. And then some more of these little pink watercolor tags. I wonder, did you get these somewhere or did you watercolor these yourself? It wouldn't surprise me if she didn't watercolor them herself. This is a cool flip book. I really like it. And then here again is another collage piece. Super cute. I love the wooden arrow. I love that she uses measuring tapes. And I seen in her challenge video that she is fond of measuring tapes. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. See what I can come up with. And this, I believe she has painted herself or stenciled herself. It looks like this is a file folder and she has just worked on the... She just like reuses everything. It's just like really, really like this heart is pieced together. It's like, I don't know. You can't tell. Um, seeing it on camera does not do it justice. You know, it doesn't. Because in person, you can tell how she has pieced that together, which is way cool. And here's another little piece that she has collaged together. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on, camera. Hold on, guys. My camera's starting to get tired on me. It's like my 10th video I filmed today. I don't want to tear this open so I don't want to just like pull at it and inside this envelope here she's just got all kinds of goodies guys bits and pieces of different hearts she's got different stickers in here she's got different um, foam pieces different hearts in there she's got an XOXO some more little stickers I mean, she has filled this pocket letter, or this pocket letter, this flip book with just amazing goodness. Hello, does this not remind you of the 80s? Because it does me. I mean, people who didn't grow up in the 80s probably don't see that in that, but it reminds me of the 80s right there. Look at this huge owl, y'all. Super cute. And then here is some fabric washi that she has shared with me and some more foam hearts. Super fun. Super cool. I think there's some other little stickers in there, but they're down at the bottom. I don't want to tear the envelope. And then here's another page. Again, page collage together. Really awesome. And then it flips back open this way, and she's created this other huge tag here, which she has collaged together. I, Wendy, I'm really going to um, give this collaging thing a try because I just love, I love your work, and I'm going to try to see what I can do to come up with. It's going to take me a little bit, I'm sure, to get a project completely done um, for you, but we've got plenty of time. Um, and look at that guys like that is just like this is collage together like if that is not if you don't think that that is artwork then I mean I just don't know what to tell you this is really cool up here at the top it looks like she's watercolored that and then in here is just a sample bag of different ribbons and trims which I love because I don't have a ton of them and it's all in pinks, which I also love because it's my favorite color. And I really like the bindings that she does here. These are like velvet, velvet filling pieces. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave it on here as I talk about her channel because I just love this collaged piece right here. Um, so anyway, yes, y'all, this is, her name is Wendy, and this is Reused Mused here on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel in my description bar below. She just started having a challenge herself. So 
if you would please go over to her channel show her some love and support let her know that i sent you over and if you like doing things that's a little bit outside your comfort zone she has got a couple different options in her challenges um, in her challenge giveaway and i hope to see everybody joining in on her challenge i'm gonna do so myself i'm gonna give this collage thing a try and see what i can come up with um, I think that her work is amazing and stunning and it's more like artwork to me and I am so glad to have a piece of it. So thank you so much Wendy for joining in on my challenge. I really do appreciate you taking the time to enter my challenge and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!